All right, let's take a moment to talk about these nuts. One reason I want to start with these nuts is because I think that they give you a good representation of how you should start approach approaching art in Illustrator. And I actually used these nuts while advertising um, for some graduate student recruiting event, things like that. So these are the kind of things you can make in Illustrator. I have a love-hate relationship with Illustrator. It's it's really in my mind counterintuitive some people it clicks in their mind but i'm always impressed every time i spend time in illustrator i'm always impressed at the things that i that i can make so i really like it in a sense you can produce really beautiful things in illustrator so in addition to these nuts let me just walk you through some of the other projects that other people have created this was a student made flower last year Samford Hall, that was not made by a student. Cow Skull, made by a student. Uh, Cicada, made by a student. Clam, made by student. This was a beetle, made by a student. Lantern fly, made by student. Here's a death's head hawk moth, made by me. I'll show you a couple of exam examples from me, things that I made in Illustrator. Sometimes very complicated things. Um, zoom out. This was a, a mechanism figure that I was making in Illustrator. So for protein mecha mechanisms, molecular mechanisms, Illustrators can be really useful. Mosquito mouth part illustration. Um, this should be in a future publication we'll be publishing. And then this was my flesh fly, my sarcophagid. So you can make really simple things in Illustrator, you can make really complicated things in Illustrator, and I'm always really impressed by what comes out of it. So the way that you want to approach Illustrator at the beginning, before you're a master, is to approach it the way I approach these nuts, which is you really want to start training your brain to try to kind of start thinking in mosaics. So traditionally, mosaics were kind of, kind of things like this. And if you can start thinking in this mindset, I think Illustrator is going to be really intuitive for you if you can, if you can approach it in this in this way. Now, the thing about the mosaics is each of these little pieces is an individual geometric shape that doesn't overlap. The difference in Illustrator is in Illustrator I create many 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 mosaical shapes that all overlap. And then I can use, just like Photoshop, I can decrease the opacity of these mosaic layers over top of each other to get interesting color combinations. But I always approach it from the perspective of, to start, you want to think in discrete geometric shapes of solid color, and then, and then tweak the colors by having different layer opacities. I think that's a good way. And then you can approach creating darks and light highlights by, again, similar style in Photoshop where you can overlay layers of whites with possibly potentially see-through layers or overlay layers of darks with see-through layers but you want to approach it from the angle of building up mosaics overlapping geometric shapes okay so let me walk you through building up the first of these nuts with the mosaic shapes and the way that you're creating these is with the pen tool so you're creating shapes your and then what I usually do is I'll shut off the stroke and I will just fill in the shape with solid color so let's walk through assembling this peanut so I first did the background basic basic uh, again just kind of like how I would approach it in Photoshop background color started building up some darks some light regions light regions real dark regions on the edge and these are again so these are discrete these are discrete shapes I could like pull this and like move it um, if I wanted to do that
And I'm using my painter's eye to choose what color I think should be where. That is the buildup of these nuts. So for today's challenge, um, what you're going to work on, the first project we're going to do in Illustrator, in the past I called this a cartoon. I don't want to call it that this year because that gave students some misinterpretations of this. It's not a cartoon in a sense that you're not doing a strip and you're not doing a character for a comic strip. But the reason I say it's kind of a cartoon is because Illustrator by nature forces you to begin to abstract and focus on the essence of things. It, you can do, you can certainly do intense details in Illustrator, but to really pull out the beauty of it, I really want you guys to try to focus on kind of abstracting in a sense, in a sense that these are not photorealistic, these nuts. Um, these are abstractions of what peanuts are. So I want you to focus on the first project in that sense. And so with that, you can choose any biological organism or any scientific topic, but choose an item, an object, and create sort of an abstraction of that based on some of the student examples that I showed in the beginning and also based on these nuts. And think about how you can abstract the essence of that object and illustrate it in Illustrator. And again, just to repeat, finally, the way you're going to do this is build this up as a mosaic of overlapping geometric shapes. So maybe that's the better way to say the project. The project is a mosaic of overlapping geometric shapes. 